What's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at another video for you guys today. Once again, it's my birthday. Drop me some birthday love in the comment section. Why don't you? With that being said, we're going to check out this video from Miss Mojo. Uh, this is the tragic story of Selena. Um, not Selena Gomez. We're talking about the original Selena, the beautiful Selena. Um, the movie was enough for me. Like, the movie had me in tears, obviously, towards the end, pretty much. It was, ugh. Lord, that heifer, is she still in jail? Because, whew. But one of my favorite songs, like out of all the songs, especially on that movie, um, because when, when Selena was like first in the industry and like around the time she died, I wasn't even born yet. She died in 95, right? So I was born in 96. So, um, you know, I didn't know about her then, obviously. But when I was a little bit older, uh, I got a chance to watch the movie. And I'm telling y'all, Oh man, it was a good movie, but you know, the, the end obviously is sad. But one of my favorite songs by her. Here we go. Late at night with all the world. Sleeping, I'll stay up and think of you. That's all I'm going to sing because you know how YouTube is very sensitive when it comes to music. So, with that being said, let's check it on out. Sorry to keep on rambling, but uh, let's check it on out. Show the tragic story of Selena in about a three, two, one. Selena was one of the most celebrated and influential Latin artists of the 90s, but her life and career were cut tragically short. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're taking a look at the tragic story of Selena Quintanilla Perez. In 2020, oh, Netflix is uh, bringing story. her heartbreaking saga to the screen as Selena the series, yeah. with The Walking Dead star Christian Serratos in the lead role. Mm -hmm. And judging by the trailer, she's a dead ringer. Yeah. In preparation for the show, she favors her. The rundown of the famed artist. Wow, life she favors her. her. Untimely death. Born in 1971 in the Texas city of Lake Jackson, Selena showed signs of musical talent from a young age. Excuse her me, father, Abraham Quintanilla Jr., was a former musician and recognized his daughter's pitch perfect voice immediately, building a family band around her with himself as manager. Though raised English speaking, movie. Selena was encouraged to sing in Spanish by her Mexican American father in order she was to better so connect with her heritage and the Latin American bonita. community in and around Texas. At first, she sang Spanish lyrics phonetically, but later became fluent. With her siblings Abraham III on bass and Suzette on drums, the family band played at their father's Mexican restaurant until the establishment was forced to close in the wake of recession. Bankrupt, the family moved to Corpus Christi, Texas, and sought new beginnings. Now called Selena y los Dinos, the family band brought in money with small local gigs. Um, when they first told us that we were nominated, we all freaked out. Um, we couldn't believe it. As Selena's popularity grew, so did her workload. Soon, her I school work it. was cutting into the band's touring schedule, so Abraham took his daughter out of school during the eighth grade. But she is special. She's got it. I can feel it. I know it. She's going to make it. In 1984, the band recorded their first LP, titled Mis Primeras Grabaciones, in the Tejano Come on, music language. Style. Between 86 Speak and 88, five more albums followed. But the industry was initially unkind to Selena, a young woman in a mostly male-dominated music scene. She persisted alongside her father I believe and siblings, that too. however, and in 1989, her talent was eventually recognized by a music executive from EMI Latin Records. After signing with EMI Latin, Selena nice released picture. her self-titled debut album that same year and landed her the Female Vocalist and Female Entertainer of the Year honors at the 1990 Tejano Music Awards. Wow. Oh! <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, there's so many people I'd like to thank. Um, I'd like to thank, uh, first of all, my family. Around this time, Selena's future husband, Chris Perez, joined her band as a guitarist. To Chris Perez, Selena's guitarist, was that her boyfriend? and later her husband, uh -huh. she was the love of his I life. I would say her husband, The two fell in love but hid their relationship from Selena's father, fearing that he wouldn't allow his daughter's focus to stray from her music. In 1990, Selena released her Bien second conmigo. album. Ben Conmigo. Conmigo. The single Baila Esta Cumbia was a huge hit in Mexico and is widely considered one of her greatest songs. The album went gold a year later, Ooh. selling over 50,000 units and Damn. is now certified triple platinum with over 180,000 sold. 
With Selena's rise in popularity and promise as a commercial star, a fan named Yolanda Saldivar asked Abraham Quintanilla Jr. if she could create an official Selena fan club in San Antonio, Texas. Sorry if you hear that loud ass 808 outside. Such a success that get away ass became a close over here. and trusted friend of the family. The following year was one of both family drama and breakthrough success. In 1992, Selena's sister saw her flirting with Perez and told their father. In response, he threatened to disband the band. And when his strong arm tactics failed to stop them from seeing each other, he fired Perez as guitarist. So in April of 92, the lovers eloped. There has been an incident like this. They get married and say, well, you're not gonna sing no more. And all the work, all the sacrifice that we've done will go down the tomb. The news of his daughter's marriage hit Quintanilla Jr. hard, and he distanced himself from friends and family for a time, but ultimately had a change of heart, apologized, and welcomed Perez back into the band. All this family drama thankfully That's wrapped nice up just too. in time for the release of Selena's third album, Entre a Mi Mundo, in May. This would prove to be her breakout album, -Lo. especially in Mexico, as Selena became the first female Tejano singer to sell over 300,000 album copies. Ooh, the that's following a lot. year, her live album, Selena Live, won her a Grammy for Best Mexican American Album and was named Album of the Year at the Billboard Latin Music Awards. She was up there. By 1994, Selena had become an icon for young Hispanic women, so she capitalized on her fame by opening a boutique called Selena Etc. and began designing her own clothing line. Riding a newfound wave of commercial success, Selena dropped her fourth album, Amor Prohibido, that same year, and it quickly became one of the best-selling Latin albums in the U.S., bringing the Tejano genre to a broader and much younger audience than ever before. She was even hailed as the queen of Tejano music. And once again, to all the fans, thank you for making this possible. We love you. Thank you. Gracias. To help her run her business ventures, Selena relied on one person in particular, Yolanda Saldivar. Due to the success of the fan club, Saldivar was assigned to oversee Selena's boutiques and, and her here agent. we go. Due to her increased responsibility, Yolanda relocated in order to be closer to Selena, moving from San Antonio to Corpus Christi, Texas. But with Saldivar at the helm, the boutiques began to struggle. Her penchant she for probably has something to do she with it. caused concern among employees, but their warnings to Selena fell on deaf ears. Her father, Sorry. however, investigated their claims, along with concerns from members of Selena's fan club. In 1995, he discovered that Saldivar had embezzled $30,000 from the fan club and boutiques. He threatened really? to report Saldivar to the police, requested oh, financial she so records sneaky for the ass woman. and warned Selena to stay away from her. My last words were her was that I was going to go to the police to see what we could do, uh, you know, to charge her with something. However, Selena failed to heed her father's advice, deeming Saldivar too important for the boutiques to dismiss. You mean so much to me. I bought you a little present. Oh, really? Good morning, Dad. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, my gosh. That is so beautiful. The ring of death, pretty much. A ring with an egg. <laughs> After Saldivar failed to deliver the requested oh, I hated orders, that part. Selena confronted her in her hotel room on March 31, 1995. Saldivar responded by pulling a gun on Selena and shooting her in the right shoulder as the singer fled. Selena was able to make it to the lobby, leaving a long trail of blood, but later died from blood so, loss and cardiac arrest. Was she bleeding internally or did the they let her crime, bleed out? Saldivar I'm confused. Saldivar was stopped by police and engaged in a nine-hour standoff before finally entering custody. It all came to a sudden and tragic end when she was shot by the woman who started her fan club oh, you 20 evil years you. ago. Murdered just before she was set to perform in LA. In the short time of just over one year, Yolanda Saldivar went from trusted friend of the Quintanilla family to the murderer of Quintanilla Jr.'s youngest child. She would be charged with first degree murder in 1995 and sentenced to life in prison with no chance for parole Ooh. for 30 years. She was given a life sentence. That's 30 years before a chance of parole. Saldivar will spend those years in a Texas women's prison under heavy guard. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Selena's death sent shockwaves through the Latin American community and the entire United States. Her death made front page news and over 60,000 mourners attended her funeral. It's difficult to overstate her lasting impact on music. 
especially after such a short career. She was a Grammy-winning, yeah. undisputed queen of Tejano music. Hailed as one of the most influential Latin artists of all time, she's credited with popularizing Latin music as a whole and breaking barriers for Latin American artists. In the last year of her life, she was a millionaire who was on the verge of a crossover career. In fact, her final album, Dreaming of You, which was released posthumously in 1995, became the fastest-selling American album of that year. Warner Brothers later brought Selena's life story to the big screen in 1997, with a young Jennifer Lopez in the starring J -Lo. role. While Selena's life was Hated brought to a part, sudden though. end, fans of the Queen of Tejano have not forgotten the impact her music made on their lives and the barriers she broke for Latin American women in the United States. You know, basically what she would want to be remembered for is her music. And some of her biggest hits released after her death. Because that's what was her main source of pride and joy. And with the upcoming Netflix series set to be released in 2020, we're thankful that Selena will be able to reintroduce herself to a whole new generation. Do you agree with that industry is something else? Like that woman, you could pretty say she literally gave her the damn ring of death. Like, it's just amazing how some people you trust, especially in that life, you know, being in the industry, being this big star. And you know, you have somebody you think that's close to you and you can trust, and they do some shit like that. You know, and then she up, well, from the movie and stuff, you know, she in the car crying, talking about she don't deserve to live. Girl, girl, please, you ain't finna just go out like a coward. Go to jail, okay? But like seriously, in that industry, you definitely gotta be careful about who you trust and who you have close to you, close, you know, around you like that, because you never know. Like you think people are there for you and then like when you down and out, when you ain't made a hit in a while or something like that, or when you ain't been in some movies in a while, you know, people will leave you high and dry. People will leave you high and dry. Um, you know, when the money start getting low, they pretty much MIA. Shout out to Omarion. But um, yeah, she was beautiful. She had a beautiful voice. She was loved. She's clearly still loved. Um, and it's just a sad situation that that woman would do such a thing like that. And, you know, I wish that she was able to, you know, snap into it more and listen to what her father has said. But, you know, it's just, it's unfortunate and it's fucked up, you know, because that, that heifer, oof, oof. I'm sure, like, as long as she's been in jail, I don't know if she's still in there now. I'm pretty sure they, they had a few people that wanted to whoop her ass when she got up in there, when they found out who she was and what she did, especially like big Selena fans. Oh, I'm pretty sure if a, a few of them was in jail, I'm pretty sure they wanted to whoop her ass if they couldn't, you know, if they couldn't get that close. But uh, yeah, definitely I say, you know, if you want to be in that industry, I definitely say, like I say, be careful who you have around you because you just, you know, you don't know, you know, you just got to be careful. Some people could real life be snakes just sl slithering around in your garden waiting to take all your stuff you know and like i said the moment that shit starts to get a little low and you down and out they out too you know what i'm saying they not there to help you and support you i'm telling you people they, they think this shit is sweet that industry shit is so sweet and you know they, some people they don't even realize they signing their whole entire life away can't get out of these fucked up ass contracts you know beef and shit with these record labels other deep dark shit that you know we're not gonna get into right now you know that's for conspiracy videos but i do believe some of that shit is real out here but uh yeah r.i.p to selena you know it's once again it's, it's unfortunate and that heifer if she if she's still in jail she needs to stay in there at this point i'm just saying but with that being said if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button comment below your thoughts on uh the story of selena what did you guys think about it um and what's one of your favorite selena songs i told you my dreaming of you and uh if there's anything else i can react to for you guys let me know in the comment section as well hit that subscribe button follow me on my instagram hit that notification bell follow my twitter um i do have a cash app it is my birthday today if you want to send me a little something something my uh cash app is rain cash 
capital X, I was going to say double X, capital X 07, if you want to send me a little something, something. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next video. It's Taylor Rain, and I'm out.